What is going on guys, it's Asher here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be previewing the game between Olympiakos and Wolves in the round of 16 of the Europa League. The nice round of the Europa League against Espanyol. Espanyol. It was a game of two halves. In the first leg, um, it was very clear and concise who the uh, controlling team was and who the uh, eventual winners of the tie were. We were 4-0 up um, halfway through halfway through the tie and it was a very controlling game for us in the first leg and it was Espanyol definitely uh, showed their weaknesses and showed definitely why they've been struggling on La Liga this season um, they're bottom of La Liga currently and def they definitely showed why uh, in that first leg, despite a couple of attempts from Espanyol, uh, particularly um, from Boulay, he was pretty comfortable for us and we coasted through 4-0 going into the second leg, it was a completely different game and eventually we lost that 1-3-2 but it, would, it didn't really matter um, in the context of the game, it didn't really matter uh, that we lost because we were falling up. We had a four goal lead and Plus we got two away goals in the in the second leg anyway, so pretty much made the task impossible for Espanyol um, And well, they bowed out nicely. They won 3-2 um, on on their home patch And it was, it was a bit of a strange performance obviously there was a lot of youngsters out there but it was still still quite strange and it wasn't really uh, a fluent game that one but um, the game was already won um, after the first leg. Now in the Premier League recently it's been it's been quite good in the Premier League. Um, we're currently sixth in the Premier League and we've had a couple of good wins. Uh, a 3-0 win against Norwich which are uh, is on the channel. That's a game we need to win, really. Bottom of the league, Norwich. That should be an easy three points, and it was. Um, Norwich were quite poor, but they definitely picked it up uh, the week after against Leicester. That was quite a good performance to them, which they needed in in terms of uh, their relegation efforts, uh, relegation survival efforts. Anyway, um, but yeah, it was a very good win. Uh, the week after as well against Spurs, we were behind twice, uh, but we still came back. Um, it's just, just showing our comeback nature this season, really. And, well, we were behind twice, as I say, but we still came back and got a vital three points. That was a massive, massive game that we needed to win, really. Not the game against Norwich, but for completely different reasons. Um... Um, we won it, we got the three points and re most recently we've had a goalless draw against Brighton which, like the Espanyol um, defeat, uh, the second leg of that tie, um, it was a pretty strange game, there was no real fluency to that game at all and no real team had the upper hand, there, there wasn't, well chances were at a premium and it wasn't really the greatest of performances and Again, the past few games have been must-win games, really, um, for uh, trying to keep up with the top four. Obviously, fifth place is still a viable option for the Champions League um, after Manchester City's ban um, last month. But still, the top four, we want to finish as high as we possibly can. We're, we're in a very good um, stage of the season at the moment where we're in quite good form um, even in, in, in February we didn't even concede the goal so we're in quite good form at the moment and I mean that was quite a disappointing performance considering um, that's just coming off, um, off the back of a, a brilliant 3-2 win at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium um, but yeah we have um, some big games coming up we've got West Ham on Sunday uh, and we've also got uh, uh, Bournemouth the, uh, the Sunday after. So it's games against relegation threatened teams that we really do need to be picking three points up in. Um, 
yeah, hopefully we can pick up three points against West Ham and um, continue our pursuit of the top four. Back to the game against Olympiacos, and it's a game that's most likely, uh, well, um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, played behind closed doors due to um, the outbreak of the uh, coronavirus uh, in mainland Europe um, after spreading uh, from China. I mean, Nuno said it himself. Um, it's it's not good when when a uh, when a game is called off. Um, well, when a game is played behind closed doors, I mean, um, it's it, it destroys the atmosphere because obviously there's no atmosphere, there's no fans in the stadium, and it's it really does it really is disappointing when when that has to happen because um, because pretty pretty much everyone want, wants to be uh, involved in in inside the stadium, and it's it's just. It's it's not a not a fun game to watch um, when it's when it's a game uh, behind closed doors. I'm pretty sure all all the fans involved would much rather uh, the game be played um, under different circumstances. But that's that's the way it's got to be. And I guess uh, safety does come first. And well, I guess if we didn't have this uh, outbreak in the first place, I'm gonna guess. The, the need uh, for the game to be played behind closed doors um, wouldn't be there, but um, it's what's happening now. Um, also, in other countries, in Italy, where uh, many people have obviously been quarantined, uh, Syria has been postponed. Um, Juventus against uh, Inter Milan had to be played behind closed doors as well. So it's it's really affecting a lot of sporting events and um, it's quite disappointing but uh, I guess that's, that's the way it's got to be but hopefully uh, regardless um, of, of what's going on in terms of being playing behind closed doors um, hopefully regardless of all that we can just get on with it and get a result um, to take back to Monu. I mean I would definitely take like a 2-1 win or something um, even, even even maybe a one-all draw, even maybe a one-all draw, I would most certainly take um, go back to the game against Modern U because in any sort of advantage or um, even the game level with a, an away goal, um, that would be great. Um, that would be great. It makes it easier uh, for the second leg uh, at Modern U. But hopefully uh, we can get a win on Thursday. And um, I will be um, covering that game uh, when it finishes um, on Thursday. As uh, well, I'm, I haven't really been uploading recently. Uh, I haven't really had the uh, motivation to upload for some, for some reason, but I really do need to kick back into gear now. And um, uh, hopefully, uh, you'll be seeing a lot more from me. Um, over over the coming weeks with more Wolves videos, um, but yeah, hoping for a win on Thursday. Um, as I say, any sort of advantage would be great. Uh, but even e even a draw, even a draw, I would be most certainly be happy with uh, to take into the second leg a week on Thursday. If you did enjoy uh, this match preview make sure to smash that like button and I shall see you on Thursday with a review of the Olympiacos game. Until then, goodbye guys!